at Doc and Debo on Facebook call. slash Doc Chick. Hang on. That? I don't know. Let's see. Hang on. Let's see what it is. This is Joe. Hello, this is Tiana. I'm from the Home Improvement. Our group indicated that your household recently completed a kitchen project for Lowe's, and we would like to ask about that experience. Uh, uh, it's not, you know, I'm not really, uh, not really. I had really. a terrible experience. I, no, I had a great experience. Terrible but I experience. No, I had a great experience. They I just can't talk everything. about it right now. I know it's the everything. best kitchen. It's the best kitchen ever. My wife loves it. No, no, you, she hates it. She cried she, no, when she it No, she doesn't. She, she says cried when it was installed. No, she did not. She cried of tears of joy because it was so awesome. <laughs> Lowe's and the contractors <laughs> killed it. Dummy. All right, so anyways, we really liked it, but I'm in the middle of recording a, a video, so I got to go. Okay, no problem. Thanks so much for your time. All right. All right. What's wrong with you? What? No, I'm just... I can read your face. What's my face saying? Your face says you're not happy. You're annoyed about something. I'm not annoyed. All right. You're, and that's you're, my, that's my you're resting mad. Baptist face. I'm not mad. I Someone, frown. Oh, someone's got a little attitude. He's been uh, snippy. Uh, All day okay. he's been snippy. Um, even in his text messages, I'm like, that dude's snippy. I'm not snippy. I'm yeah. tired. I've been stressed out. Jen's been gone for like two months now. She's coming back. She's only been gone a couple for less days. than two weeks. Yeah, okay, so basically two weeks, no, which is a half months. a month. No, it is it's, not. You're in the month range when you start talking about half a month. All right, so she's been on a month. And I'm tired. Must I'm be nice to have out. a wife. There's some pe dudes out there yeah. that don't get to enjoy. You know, must enjoy. be nice to have a wife that's back at home waiting, making dinner for you. Well, my wife is waiting for me, so come yeah. on. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Let's go. What are you smoking? I am smoking A New World by A.J. Fernandez. Oh. Isn't he a Christian artist? Christian musician? A.J. Fernandez? Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. That's uh, Fernando that's Ortega. Fernando, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. Um, I'm smoking a, uh, no a cares CAO. About this. Oh. <laughs> and um, so we got a, we got a, a mean uh, message recently on, we got another mean message? on the YouTube. On the we got it on the YouTube. On the YouTube? Yeah. All right. he was, I think he came from uh, from another YouTube channel. Okay. And uh, that's sort of at odds with some of our YouTube content. Okay. And uh, and he was basically saying how uh, that you're, you know, we're smoking cigars. Yep. And that is ungodly, unchristian. It's a bad example. It's a bad witness. Jesus cries when you smoke cigars. Stuff like that. <laughs> he was making those kind of arguments. And uh, he's not going to listen to episode... Four. Four, yes. All the bad things. You know, I have that episode memorized. Why? Because every time someone brings up this, like, and they say, so, all I do is just link that. I'm episode like, four. I'm, episode four. Like, listen That's where we this. talk about this stuff. Yeah. So I thought, he's not going to listen to that. These The critics aren't going to listen to that, but they might watch the YouTube video. So why don't we talk about can, why we smoke can cigars? Can we be cool and have uh, decals for our church that go on, on the car? Yeah, there's a, okay, so there's, there's a church in town here, and they have placarded like all of their cars with these <laughs> giant decals um yeah oh, that's, you know, that's nothing wrong with that you know if you're preaching the gospel jimmy right. why do we smoke cigars i like it what do you like about it yeah i mean it tastes good they're yummy it smells good it smells good the ritual is fun lighting like cutting it. lighting yeah. uh but there's more to it than even just that that selfish aspect to it right yeah no i mean i think also i, I enjoy the communal aspect of it like mm -hmm. You know, there's a community of smokers where you can, you know, with a good cigar or depending on the size of your cigar, I mean, you could be there for a good 45 minutes to an hour. Two hours if you got like a double Corona. Yeah, I guess. I've never had one of those. But really? No. I've never had one of those. Okay. Uh, that's too much for me. Oh, yeah. But uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, you get to sit there for a good 45 minutes to an hour uh, talking, conversing, sharing about what's going on in your life and you get to know people better. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's like, not like you're, you're you're itching to go burn a cigarette on your lunch break because yeah. you're addicted. Yeah. This is like, I want to sit down, slow down, think, have a conversation. I, I love that part too, man. I think that's that's really good. But one, one of the complaints that's common is it's unhealthy. You're going to get cancer. Yeah. You're, I mean, you're wasting God's money. Jesus cries when you smoke. I think he said that. I don't really remember. <laughs> um, it all started to bleed together. I think I responded with... Uh, Thank you, brother. Your well, your biblical, well-reasoned and uh, kind words have converted me. I will never smoke again. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if you respond to that. I'm actually more upset about your snarky. That's not snarky. I Maybe was snarky. I was okay. I'm actually more concerned about that than you know. Smoking. So that was playful. <laughs> so um, it's bad. 
do we is is the fact that something is unhealthy because cigars are relatively unhealthy they're yeah, not yeah, yeah. they're not as they're not as unhealthy as cigarettes and you can look at the studies and they're not and, as unhealthy as fried chicken they're not they're not as unhealthy as you know now people are going to say that's not Coke. people are not going to oh man what do we got here jimmy jimmy brought diet cokes for us yep oh so good needed it needed oh, it. oh my gosh <laughs> the, the, the studies the studies show that you know more people die you can just look it up more people die from heart disease related to bad diets and die from cigarette smoke yeah and um we're not even talking about cigarette smoke we're talking about moderate cigar smoking yeah so the fact that it, it's bad for you doesn't really hold much weight to me because um, you know, because there's a lot of other things that we enjoy, but we give a pass to. Right, right. right? Uh, like I mean, but I guess the other part about the other aspect of it is, uh, what about risk? Right, mm -hmm. there is that risk. There, as minute could, as it may yeah. be, you could you could, there is a risk. Sure. And so now, is that risk inherently sinful? I don't think risk can be qualified as sinful because we all take risks in doing almost any of the things that we enjoy or many of the things that we enjoy anyway um from skydiving to scuba diving uh to, to driving a car to taking an airplane yeah right um going to the range going to the range boating playing golf in a thunderstorm who does no one plays golf you ever see Caddyshack? i have seen Caddyshack. okay so, so yeah risk i don't think holds a lot of weight the, my big concern here right and your big concern like the thing that really bothers us about this this sort of accusation is yeah. that people are calling something sin that the Bible simply doesn't call sin. No, and I think it's a concern for me that someone would stand in the place of judgment and decree something as sin when the only God is the only person that could bear that authority. Right. We go to the Word, Sola Scriptura. It's our final authority in all faith and practice, and Scripture tells us what is right and what is wrong. Now, the only way they can get to cigar smoke being wrong is by, you know, Jumping three steps off of a verse that says avoid the appearance of evil. Yeah, turn left here. Don't go or, that yeah, way. Listen, we got time. Don't, no, we got just, time. Don't, you want to go home. I want to avoid all the mess that is Route 64. We're showing them St. Charles. They can't see it. They can see it. They can see it reflected in the joy on my face. Um, what were we talking about? How cheesy of a line that was. No, it was How good. horrible that was. So I think that we've got to be we've got to be careful there not to um, not to make an issue out of something that is at best a gray area uh, for, in their case I would say at worst for us it's a gray area but yeah. I, I think it's I don't think it's a gray area um, and you know the fact that you know Spurgeon smoke a lot of people appeal to that doesn't I mean Spurgeon could have been wrong the Spurgeon yeah, is not course. the authority scripture no. is the authority yeah I like that Spurgeon smoked because um, it's a fun story it's a yeah. fun piece of history but it's definitely doesn't have any doesn't carry any weight in our view of cigars but then even touching on what you just said there about how uh, people would look at passages and, and it's kind of three steps removed uh, you should be concerned about your hermeneutics at that point where you're taking passages that that are not speaking ab about this and not right. even like at a sideways angle you know like yeah. people will talk about application and right there's implied applications taking what you're you know these passages out of context uh, I think is more dangerous than the cigar yeah. smoking. Yeah, it's it's eisegesis. Yes, and and that is you know doing harm uh, to the reputation of God's word and to the reputation of believers yeah. when we start treating it in that way. Uh, I I'm not down at all, and I'm, it's not like I'm personally offended that you hurt my feelings or something. No, but no. it is offensive that someone would treat God's word that way. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. I'm Look glad we get to share this moment. That yeah. sunset. Hey, nobody can see that. Oh. That's a nice sunset, though. It is a nice sunset, hey. You know why it looks like that? All of our cigar smoke creating the <laughs> haze in the atmosphere. All right, so big picture here for us. Why do we smoke cigars? We smoke cigars because we enjoy them. Yep. We view them as a gift of yep. God. We're not playing games. We're not, listen, we're, we're grown men. I'm 45 years old. Stop. I'm 45. I'm 45 years old. I've been smoking cigars a long time. I put decades of long thought into this. Long time. And uh, look, th this, Many is, decades. this is not something that we do a to be. This, this is not something that we do to make a point. This is not something that we do no. to flaunt. This no. is what we do. No, and that's it. Whether the, the camera's on or off, we're smoking. If, if we're we, in this car, we're, we're smoking, smoking cigars. And I think, you know, like even like with the podcast, from the beginning, uh, we made a conscious decision not to make it about cigars, not to talk about what cigars we're smoking. Uh, even though people ask us all the time, please, 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 but we just said this is not yeah. what it's about. Uh, and even this Friday content, it's more about the discussion than it is about yeah. the cigar itself. Just like the podcast, we want to record the kind of stuff that we talk about, the kind mm -hmm. of stuff that we do. 
Um, so that's it. That's what we do. Hey, uh, people are uh, people are getting their t-shirts now. Yeah, actually, uh, there we've already got them. We're shipping them out. By the time this is dropping, you can head on over to the website drvotion.com. There you can hit up the store and hit up that Reformation 500T, and we will be shipping oh. it out to it looks, you. They are available. It looks so good. It's so good. It looks so good. It I love great. it. So yeah, make sure you uh, you get on that as well as uh, register for the 2018 oh. Dr. Rocha Conference on the Spirit and the Church. Early bird sucker. Early bird sucker. It's going to be good, man. Yeah. Are, so, we've already got like almost pretty much the same amount that other yeah. conferences. Yeah, I know, I know of a conference recently. Uh, yeah, it was a you know, pretty well promoted conference. It's a pretty normal conference. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's a normal. normal conference. It's normal, exactly. sort of for pastors. For pastors, yeah. You know, and uh, we've already got that many people signed up. People so hate us. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, uh, this is going to be good. We want to see you guys there. So uh, be sure and sign up. And hey, if uh, if if you're a, a hater of D and D, Calvinism, or cigars, and you're local, come on, uh, come on down, hang out with us. Yep. Uh, uh, get to know us. Maybe uh, maybe we're not as, as evil as you think. Uh, who knows? Yeah, they, they might, maybe just they, a little bit more. They, they, maybe by, a little evil. Little, little less evil. Little, no, we're still a little evil. Well, you're little. Okay. All right. Stature. <laughs>